America, I'm Tom Hand, the creator of Americana Corner, and welcome to Preserving America. Today we are spotlighting one of our Americana Corner grant recipients, the Southwest Ohio Heritage Village Museum. And joining us is Bethany Jewell, its Director of Marketing and Volunteer Services. Bethany, welcome to Americana Corner. Thank you, Tom. Good to see you. Uh, can you tell us the mission of the Heritage Village Museum. Sure. Heritage Village Museum brings the history of Southwest Ohio in the 19th century to life. So we have 13 historic buildings. They were all moved here from other places to preserve them. And they're all from the 1800s. In addition to the buildings, we also have a recreated flat boat. I see you also have a restored train station. Yes, we do. It's the Chester Park train station. It was originally called Winton Place train station. And it was a very popular train station for a long time. When it was time to close it down, uh, we were able to acquire it and add it to our village. And I see you recently uh, acquired a school. Is that correct? Yes, we have the Myers Schoolhouse, which was originally built in 1891. We are in the process of renovating it currently. We've just put a new roof on it and new gutters and a new bell tower. So we're really excited to get that finished and ready for the public to come and enjoy it. Well, great. Please keep Americana Corner in mind. I think it'd be a great project for us to participate in. Uh, I understand you guys have a pretty vibrant uh, school program. Tell us about your educational mission also. Yes, that's one of our biggest things that we do is we have our education programs. We have different ones they can choose from. Um, our Pioneer program is the most popular, but, you know, it's a great way to really immerse the students in history so they get that hands-on learning experience about what it was like to live in the 19th century. Yeah, I understand you have uh, living history reenactors, interpreters there. Um, please tell us how they interact with the, the visitors, especially for Pioneer Days. Yeah, so we have several different events throughout the year where we have interpreters and historical clothing. So we have Heroines of Our History in April, and that's an event where we celebrate women in Ohio's history. We also have Columbia Settlement 1788, and that is focused on the first pioneer settlers to our area. And we have lots of different hands-on demonstrations to really show people some of the things that people did at that time. We're gonna use some of the tinsmithing equipment that we acquired through this grant to demonstrate tinsmithing at that event this year. Yeah, that's a nice uh, segue into uh, the grant. Talk to us a little bit about the, uh, the grant that Americana Corner uh, helped to fund. Sure, so we had the opportunity to acquire an entire tinsmith shop full of equipment and materials and everything you need to make all different kinds of tin projects. So this grant allowed us to procure those items. So we have the tin material to make items. We have all kinds of tin punches and different shapes. A lot of them were custom made tools. And we have a whole filing cabinet that's three cabinet stacked high of different patterns that were meticulously made. So we are really excited to get our volunteers trained up to use this equipment and start demonstrating that for our visitors. I'm anxious to uh, get to visit your site. Uh, you guys have so much to offer and um, yeah, thank you for the great work that you do. Um, any uh, last thoughts before we sign off here? I just wanted to thank Americana Corner for the grant because we are really excited to have this equipment and materials and excited to be able to share tinsmithing with our visitors and do like some hands-on activities with the children that come for homeschool days and other events and programs. So we are very thankful for this grant and what it will bring to the village. Well, we are happy to do it. We are big believers in living history. We think it's the best way to teach uh, young people uh, what uh, happened in the past and so I'm very happy to participate in that at, at your site. And uh, yeah, so thank you so much for your time today. Thank you, Tom. You're welcome. And, uh, and thank you out there for listening. And until next time, may your love of country lead you. Mm -hmm.